Hey everyone, I'm Laura, welcome to my channel, and today I'm going to show you how I built this raised garden bed that you can put anywhere in your yard. The location of my new raised garden bed is not level. I cannot simply place the built box onto the ground without some digging. I must measure out the space to fit the length and the width of the garden bed and dig out the area until the bed will fit nice and level. I used some sticks and some string to ensure I was digging in a straight line. For this dig, I used my pointed shovel, and I also used my edger for a very clean line. If you don't have an edger, a shovel will do just fine. Once the dig was complete, I placed a wood plank down to ensure it was even. I used this level to check my work. You want the little bubble in the vial to rest in between the two lines. For this project, I used three pieces of lumber measuring two by 10 by eight and three pieces at two by six by eight. These pieces will measure approximately two inches thick, nine and a half and five and a half inches wide and eight feet long. Once my garden bed is built, it will be just under 15 inches deep. Now that the wood has been measured and cut, it's finally time to assemble the box. I used a leftover piece of fence post measuring four by four by eight that I cut into four equal parts, which will act as the corner post inside the garden bed. Line the post with the edge of the first plank. Use a hand drill to screw in two and a half to three inch long screws to connect the pieces. Repeat this step to create a second identical wall. When finished connecting all four ends, stand up the walls with the posts facing each other. You want the posts to be inside of the garden bed. I measured from the outside of the box to the center of the post and I pre-drilled my screws. This made it easier and faster to assemble. Now take a moment, admire your work so far. Your raised garden bed is almost complete. Continue to add the second level of the frame. This part will be quick as you just need to screw the wood into the posts. For longer boxes, you can provide a little extra strength by attaching a vertical piece of wood in the center connecting both planks. And here is your finished product, ready to be relocated. I backfilled with the dirt that I had previously dug out and I used a rake to make it even. For the base of my raised garden bed, I prefer to use a thick cardboard versus fabric liner. Cardboard is a free, biodegradable, and readily available alternative to using landscaping fabric. Now here you can see that I've used what's called a lasagna layering method in this project. I alternated dirt, cardboard, more dirt, even more cardboard to provide a solid organic base to my garden before adding the premium soil mix. I recommend filling your new garden bed with a premium quality soil mix. You want to give your new plants the best chances of growth with the right levels of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So I have just added 24 square feet to my garden for this season. So in my next video, I'll be building removable garden fence, keep out digging dogs and other animals. <laughs> See ya.